Abu Hafs from Bangladesh. Sheikh, my question is regarding Libas Ashuhra. I'd be grateful if you'd give us a detailed explanation of it. Okay. I'd like to add a few things to help you understand why I'm asking this. Uh, in Bangladesh, although silver kameez is a customary clothing, the custom has now shifted to wearing more Western clothes on a daily basis in the urban areas. And the majority of the people wear shirts, pants, and other Western clothes. Now, I'm 19, especially when I go out for Asur Sola wearing silver kameez. At that time, my peers and classmates walk around or play sports wearing Western clothes, and I feel as if they look uh, at me in a weird way. And if I wear a kufi with it and go to the souk, for example, there, there are people who call me huzur. Hence, I fear if I'm unnecessarily standing out and wearing something that actually falls into uh, libasa shukra. These are the reasons I'm asking for an explanation of libasa shukra from you, Ya Sheikh. Okay. Zakallahu khair. Barakallahu fiqh. Abu Hafs from Bangladesh, he is feeling inferior. Now, in most countries, due to the impact of the media, due to the impact of movies, TV series, Netflix, um, uh, social media, they are tempted to mimic and imitate the Western style of life. And we see this in the youth. You go to the Middle East, to the lands of Islam, you go to Egypt, you go to uh, Jordan, you go to Lebanon, you, you find the same pattern. You go to Pakistan, you go to Bangladesh, you go to India. It's the same pattern of brainwash. The people think that by communicating in English, speaking English, instead of their native language, let alone Arabic, that they're sophisticated, that they are educated, intellectual people. And we see this in our children when they're young and they talk to one another in English. Oh my God, OMG, LOL. And they think that being part of this stream that they are sophisticated, unfortunately. So Brother Abu Hafs is complaining that when we in Bangladesh wear the Shurwal Kamis, which is the normal um, uh, uh, customary dress of men in Bangladesh, due to the impact of Western uh, uh, culture uh, over the youth, most of them now are wearing jeans and t-shirts, maybe suits. So if I walk in the streets, people look at me as if I am from the Stone Ages. This is primitive. Why is he wearing this? So imagine if I were to go to an interview, job interview, wearing this. What would the interviewer say to me? What, what is this? Why aren't you wearing a suit? At least a tie. So you get the feeling that even the society is turning against you. So he says, I'd like to know what is the definition of libas al-shuhra. Akhi, libas al-shuhra, or the garment of fame, as it's roughly translated, and it refers to something that makes you stand out in a crowd. Not the cases you're talking about. Them wearing T-shirts or shirts and trousers is not libas al-shuhra. You wearing the garments and the dress of your people is not libas al-shuhra. But if you wear, for example, a garment or a set of clothes that is not related to your country or to the Muslims or something that is weird, if you wear, for example, um, a, a garment that is totally red, or if you wear something like the, uh, the Buddhist wear, th these yellow or orange garments, and you walk around wearing them, this would be libas al-shuhra, because people would always point at you. And your intention of wearing it is to show off. So if I wear my normal traditional clothes, clothes 
in Malaysia, for example, they, they're not accustomed to it. But this is my identity. Nobody would say, oh, this is Libas al-Shuhra, because the, I am from where I am. However, if a Brit wears this in London, that would be Libas al-Shuhra, because the guy is not originally an Arab. He's wearing the costumes of the Arabs in a Kafir country. For what? Showing the deen? This has nothing to, to do with showing the deen. On the contrary, you might be repelling them from the deen when they see you dressed like that. So your case is not with libas al-shuhra. Libas al-shuhra is something that you do or wear in order to stand in a crowd where people would say, yeah, yeah, this guy with the Texan hat or with the sombrero or with the, the weird trousers or with a skirt. He's wearing a kilt, for example, like, like the Scotch people. And, and, and he's walking in the middle of the road. No, this is not permissible and it's haram and you will be punished for that on the Day of Judgment.